Okay, this is Alex with another video, really quick short video, and in this one I am revisiting the problem of Tomb Boom versus Innova versus dual monitor displays. As you can see on my screen, I have my monitor, my second monitor, and my MSP19U set up as a dual monitor display. And as I have Harmony Premium 2014, which is the latest one that just came out. And I wanted to show you um, how I have it set up here to run as administrator. Um, so I set this disable display scaling on high DPI settings and then run this program as an administrator. This one doesn't seem to make any difference whether I click it or unclick it but something tells me that that has something to do with the problem that we're having the problem that we're having seems to be a coordinate issue when you're in dual monitor display and it could be a scaling issue I don't know I'm not that much of a geek to tell you that but I am enough of a geek to tell you that by running it in dual monitor display I was able to get a little bit of satisfaction and let me fire up Tomb Boom here so I can elaborate on that okay so once again we fired it um, fired up Harmony 14 in dual monitor display with a Unova and it is set to run as administrator and as you can see here is version 14 so as most of you are used to seeing when you have Harmony or pretty much any Tomb Boom software and dual monitor display um, and you start drawing it will come out here but in this setting I am able to actually draw where I'm supposed to draw and I've also tested some of the 3D features which was something that I was a little bit concerned about and they seem to work fine for me and the tablet uh, drivers that I have, supposedly they're the new ones. I delete, I uninstalled the previous ones that I had, and I installed the ones that say 8.3 or something. But it still says 8.2 here, so I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on with those drivers. To be honest with you, I don't know who to put the blame this on. I don't know if it's Tomb Boom or Unova or UC Logic or Windows. But back to the issue at hand here. So you see, we're able to draw here just fine. Um, uh, even texture works. That could be used one of the texture brushes, and you're able to draw where you're wanting to draw, not you know here, and it comes out all the way over here. So that seems to work. And the only way that you'll be okay with this is if you're one of those animators or artists that does not need pressure sensitivity. Like me right now, I'm working on a project where the character has no lines, so I care less about pressure sensitivity. And if there are parts that I do, um, you know, in the drawing, in the style, I can always use some of uh, Harmony's features to get thick and thin lines by adjusting them, you know, with the, uh, with the tools that Harmony has. Um, this is also true for Storyboard. I still have Storyboard Pro, 4.2 but what I did I did the same exact thing I ran um, Storyboard Pro as an administrator see here properties and uh, compatibility and as you can see here I, again I press push this button here open that magically someday there will be an update and if that's pressed it will automatically fix it I uh, run this program as an administrator and that's the one that seems to um, make you at least have any chance of drawing in the programs I've tried run this program in compatibility mode for just about everything and nothing seemed to make a difference so I won't even mention that anymore and, but what I will do is fire up storyboard pro and show you that by running it in administrative mode you are able to draw and you know what 
for storyboards, this may not be such a big deal because how you know how much do you really need pressure sensitivity for storyboards? Not much, I don't think. I mean, at least I don't. And uh, some of you may like using texture brushes to do your storyboard. I know I do sometimes, and you're able to do that easily here um, with no issues at all. And yeah, if you can live without pressure sensitivity, then run your Toon Boom software in Avid mode, um, and you won't have pressure sensitivity. But hey, all right. So this has been Alex. Hopefully, this helps some of you. Um, I also wanted to mention that I've been playing around with some of these settings here in my um, Nvidia control panel. Um, you can actually add. Like I could add a Harmony or Storyboard Pro and then start messing with the settings there. Um, I first need to find out what these settings mean and uh, maybe, maybe, just maybe, I can make something happen there as far as pressure sensitivity is concerned. But in the meantime, no pressure for you. All right, this has been Alex. Thanks for watching and uh, see ya.